All right, folks, in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at these. These are the Keen NXIS Pro Waterproof Boot. Now, don't get the NXIS mixed up with an 80s rock band or a sporty hot hatch. It's probably pronounced Nexus, but there you go. Anyway, let's get stuck in and have a look at these boots. So you may remember a while back I reviewed these. These are the Ridgeflex boots made by Keen. And as much as I get on with these and like them, I felt that the grip could have been a bit better for my use. So Keen invited me to try out these ones as well. And these have all the classic sort of uh, features you would expect from a Keen boot, but they have a different sole. They've got these multi-directional four millimeter horseshoe style grip there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So it does look a bit more ag aggressive than these. So I'm hoping these do give me a bit more purchase, so we will find out. So whilst these Keen boots have a different tread, they do share a lot of characteristics with their range. That is the classic Keen wide fit, and they have this heel lock system as well, where you tighten the laces and it pulls this into place, and it's called the heel lock. And you can see there, hopefully, there's this little extra bit of cushioning that just sits above your heel. So when you tighten your laces, it just holds your foot into place nicely and allows you. These are, of course, also waterproof with the Keen Dry membrane that's waterproof and, of course, breathable. The standard insoles have some arch support there. And as you can see there, it's got their mission statement as well. These are technically hybrid boots. They sit nicely between a traditional boot and your trail shoes. So they give you this mid boot. And that just gives you a little bit more protection from wet and dirt than trainers would. But on the flip side, they're a bit more flexible than a traditional boot. And as you can see there, they've got a nice flex there. So for this review, I'm going to pair up the boots with these smart wheel. I think they're a midweight hiker sock. I had these on last week for that wild camp in the Cairn Gorms. I couldn't really comment on the, the grip at the time because I had micro spikes on for most of that day. But I tell you what, they're comfortable straight out the box. So there we go. Let's go. Well, it's the middle of January. It's a bit of an overcast and cold day. And the conditions underfoot are pretty muddy, so it's a good test for the boots. If you haven't already guessed, I'm up our first seat in Edinburgh. It's quite busy, so I've came off piste here just to get away from the crowds and give these boots a good testing. Oh, oh I'm so unfit after Christmas. Anyways, so far so good. The boots are gripping well. I said before they're comfortable. On my scales, each boot weighed 427 grams. And that's for the size 8. I think the website claimed 417 grams. I'll put the weights at the bottom of the screen now just to confirm. But anyways, I'm on a nice gravelly story path at the moment and it's, they're working fine. The real test will be going back down, which we'll do in a few moments. I've managed to find a little drop of volcanic rock to test these boots on and they're giving me a little bit slippy today obviously with the damp rock and it's started to rain but uh, a little bit slidey I don't think that's the boots fault though right it's now time to test these bad boys going downhill ow gosh it's jaggy Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Right, do we want comedy gold with I slip or do we want the boots to perform well? I'm not going to go rattling down this. So I'm going to go, oh, a bit slipping there. Not too bad though. I must admit, folks, whenever I'm sent something for review, I'm always honest and always like to try and pick something wrong with what I'm reviewing. But on this occasion, I have to say, I know it's a first impressions, but I like these and I can't find any fault 
as it stands. Now, I did have these on as well for the, the weekend away uh, for that winter camp in the Cairngorms, so it's not like I've only just had them on for five minutes. So, one last test for these boots before we get back to the car, and that's this nice, steep, grassy slope. This is very typical of the terrain I'm used to, going off piste and a lot of corbits in Scotland. So, let's have a go. Yeah, they're gripping nicely. Just need to watch, it's quite uneven. Oh, wee bit of slippage there. But generally, I do feel like they are gripping. Right, that's me back at the car. And just to summarise on the boots. There you go, we can see how muddy it is. Yeah, like I said back up there, I really like these initial thoughts. I can't find a fault. Maybe the recommended retail price of £145 may put some people off. But for the comfort, for me, it's probably worth it. What I would say though, obviously today that is first impressions. These boots have had a little bit more use, but in the coming months I will be testing these, putting them through their paces, using and abusing them in the Scottish mountains, and then I'll do a video doing a comparison of them both and giving you the long-term review. But otherwise, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>